I'm Jeremiah Gephardt with G2 Aerial Spraying. I'm located in North Central Missouri, near Salisbury, Missouri. I'm going on my second year. We're about halfway through my second year doing it. So I have three P30s, and I'm purely using them for row crops. We do a mainly fungicide application with that. I've always felt drawn to the ag industry. My dad's side, it purely does row crops, and my mom's side does a mix of livestock and row crops. I've always felt drawn to the row crop side of that. And when I was in college at the University of Central Missouri, I ended up doing a research project over drone spraying. I always thought it was real interesting, but I didn't know if it would be even in the next 10 years of my future that I could even imagine flying a drone. And I ended up going to a Mizzou Extension conference and Taylor was there speaking on them. And I thought, man, this, this may be something that I, I could do. So I went home and for about two months, I just dove into the numbers of it. Afterwards, I thought, yeah, this is something I wanna do. And here we are doing drone spraying for Sharon County. My drone business has really benefited our community and even our county in that aspect. Not only does it provide a well-deserved service of precision spraying to our farmers in the area, but it allows me to be able to go give that service to the farmer where they're pleased with it and then turn around and be able to give back to our community, whether that's through FFA or through any other organization. AgriSpray drones has been pretty vital for me. Anytime I had any problems, I knew I could call them and they'd answer. They've really helped me not only keep running, but understand the drones and understand their, their job and how they operate too. You don't compete with the ground sprayers because ground sprayers, they can do a good job and do a lot of acres. Normally I'm in the aerial application, so competing with planes and helicopters, which they could cover a lot more ground than I can. But the precision benefits of the drone outweighs that to me. Around here, you got some great running bottom ground, but you also got a lot of hill ground. And that hill ground, those drones do a thousand times better job than, than any other aerial application can. You're looking at a foot difference in height across that field and a plane and helicopter they got pulled up. They, it's, it's a headache for them to mess with too, but these drones do a great job with that. The challenges I really face getting into the industry, figuring out the technology, learning it for myself, a lot of long hours. Doing custom spraying, you, you got a quota of acres you want to hit to make these things pay off, and to do so you got, you got to put in the time. advice I have for anyone getting into the business, I'd say just do your research. Know, know what type of business you're getting into. When you do, you need to be able to, one, present it to the farmers in a selling way that this, these are the benefits of these drones. And then you also need to know the research of how the drones work, how they run, because you will have to troubleshoot problems. You will, and it'll be after hours when everybody's closed and it's important that you know how to fix those problems. So research, research, research is, is my big advice for anyone getting into it. I really see the drones applying a big role into the ag industry in the future. There's a lot of farmers that that want the drone spraying done. Really, I just don't have enough time to get it all done all the time. There's the demand for it, and I'd love to see that demand met one day. I always wanted to come back and farm, and the drones kind of gave me that opportunity. Allow me to come back to the family farm, be able to help during planting and harvest. But during the summer period, I have my own business, my own line of income that Hopefully, I can one day earn enough to start buying my own farm and building my own farm.